And obviously, this is what I tell other resellers when they're like getting into my honey hole. Get your hand on my cookie jar. So that's pretty much what I tell people um, in that exact voice, just to leave my area. So, now, anywho, um, hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What Sold uh, Part Two video. This is the weekend portion. Pretty good weekend. Um, this one actually falls kind of no November, December times. So I know we're still back, but. Again, I hope this sales, you guys will learn something, pick up a bolo or two, or maybe even find out what you don't want to pick up if you see something that didn't sell too well. So I show you guys everything, everything that sells in the store that I have, I show you guys that so that way you can get the perspective that I'm having on eBay and then take and use what you can uh, to see if it'll help your business. So hope you guys enjoy the content. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care. Prices were all over the place, anywhere from 25 to about 35 bucks. Um, shipped. A lot of people were doing 20 plus shipping or what have you. I listed mine for 35 shipped, figuring that was towards the higher end. And there were a lot listed lower than mine, but mine sold almost within probably four days for full price. So I paid three, sold for 35. It'll probably cost 10, 12 to ship, and it's not. It's plastic. Um, and obviously, this is what I tell other resellers when they're like getting into my honey hole. Get your hand on my cookie jar. So that's pretty much what I tell people. Um, in that exact voice, just to leave my area. So, now, anywho, um, 35 bucks, probably 10 or 12 to ship it. I don't know. It's not really that heavy, but it's going to go priority mail, obviously. Maybe Smart Post, maybe Pirate Ship, we'll see. But I'm happy with that. Only paid three bucks. This I bought the same day, this little GRA Lab, um, made in USA, a little timer. Tested it out. It does work. I paid 10 for this. They wanted 20. I paid 10. I sold these before. They always sold pretty well. This one sold for like 42 ship within a week or so. Um, something like that. Not too long. Maybe six days. Um, and then that's 42 shipped again. It's probably going to go either Pirate Ship or FedEx Smart Post. Anywhere from 10, 12 bucks. Maybe 9 if it's going somewhere close. 8 bucks. Something like that. But still good money there. Worth it. Um, you guys have been seeing me sell this. The Decon. Um, rat Extermination and Mice Pellet Things. Um, these, I sold two individual sets, I believe for 95 shipped and then one 95 shipped each and then one double pack for 190 something, whatever 95 times, 94, 99 times two is. So, um, I'm down to about seven or eight of these left. So I'm moving through them. I'm hoping we'll get through them before the end of the year. That'd be awesome. And, um, that would be a really good flip. We paid 900 for this plus a bunch of chess pieces, plus some odds and ends. And I'm already in the profit now. I've made all my 900 back, and then I have a bunch more to sell, and obviously sell for 95 a piece. I do send them out parcel select, just so there's no pressure issues if they go priority on a plane, and like anything happens with the sealed bait in there, I don't want to um, have it explode or anything like that. So I do send them parcel, so we don't save as much on shipping. It takes a little longer, but it's working. Here's a PS2 uh, with the controller and Gran Turismo. This one has a damaged. Uh, face thing here, but it does work perfectly. Just the piece that's on there broke off. Um, tested it out at work. I threw a game with it, a controller as an experiment to see if you could sell them this way. And um, someone bought it. Actually, he said he's from the military, retired uh, Marine or something like that. He bought it. He lives somewhere on the West Coast. He's looking ha looking forward to getting it. I guess he used to play this game too. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. I want to say 40 or 50 ships, somewhere between there. You'll see on the screen. Whatever the screen says, that's the accurate. So, uh, Here's a little Nissan radio. This one I could not test. It's for parts. It's got some issues. Uh, it sold for 25 shipped, um, as is for parts. I think I paid 3 or 4 bucks for it, something like that, or 2 bucks at a garage sale, and then thought I'd be able to test it out, and then it realized it had way more issues and it wasn't worth my time. But for some reason, someone bought it for 25 shipped. It's an older radio. It's got the cassette in there, so... I was happy just to get that out of here. Here's a rival crockpot lid with the little um, like pressure release thing here where you can kind of turn that and let stuff out. Um, this came off a crockpot. I think I paid four bucks for it. And then I sold just the lid for 30 shipped. Um, that's usually what I'll do if I can get them for really cheap. Or sometimes you find them and like there's issues with them, but the lid's still good. It's worth picking up. I list my lids high though, like 30 bucks. I wait for the right buyer just because. Usually by the time you wrap them up, they're too heavy to go um, first class, and you kind of need to pack them pretty well, so I'd rather charge a little bit extra to try to maximize my money when I sell them, because the priority shipping can eat into your profits if you're selling them for 20 bucks or whatever. So it took a while, but someone did buy it. I'll be looking out for more of the lids. Here's a little hyena here from the Lion King from the 90s, a little plush. He was 5 bucks at a garage sale, um, and he sold for like 28 shipped within like a week. Um, I bought them the same week, and I bought all that stuff, so... 
all that stuff sold pretty quick. Here is a Lake Crusette, a La Crusette, whatever it is. Got a 30 arm there. I bought a bunch of this pan stuff, um, Lake Crusette or whatever, like five, four or five pieces for five bucks at this estate sale. It was a great deal. Everything I bought there was such a good, good price. She would just be like, oh, two bucks for a whole pile of stuff. And I think I paid, she wanted like 15 for everything. And I even gave her, gave her 20 bucks. I'm like, I'll just give you 20 for the last bit of stuff I want because you're giving me such a good deal. So it was awesome. I sold one piece thing for 80 so far. And then this sold for a hundred uh, full price. So happy to get rid of that. Um, video games, Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube 50 shipped. That came out of a big lot from Storage Unit Guy. We paid three hundred for everything, and a lot of these games are from there. Um, Street Fighter is from there. That sold for like seven ship. Not a great deal. This Mario Super Sluggers was from there. That sold for like twelve shipped or thirteen. Halo was from there. That sold for nine. Simpsons was from there. Just the discs, hit and run for the GameCube sold for like twenty two, twenty three. Jeopardy was not from there, but that sold for like nine shipped. Alien Hominid was, and I think it sold for thirteen, fourteen, something like that shipped. So. That was pretty good. And then Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 for the GameCube sold for just the disc, sold for 10 shipped. I didn't write this on it. It's from the original. I'll take that out and we'll just send the case. So uh, pretty good deal there on video games. This is an awesome deal. This deep diving and submarine operations. Paid five bucks for this two book set. Seems to be pretty rare. Um, it's got like a, I think this is, it's numbered here. That sold for 130 shipped going international so i've had it for a while i've had a, i sold it once for 85 or 90 bucks someone made an offer and i accepted they never paid someone came through and paid the full thing so happy with that um, here's the climber vw manual this is from the big manual lot that sold for 17 shipped this is from the 1600 buy we had with all the toys and video games lego stuff like that this was just loose manuals the lego set was not there i sold those for 10 shipped they'll go first class um, it's Slave 1 from Star Wars, so um, pretty good set. And someone wanted the manuals. Here is part of the big chess lot. I bought a bunch of chess books a while back. 60 bucks for 10... What was it? Six boxes for 10 bucks each. So six boxes full of books. Um, 60 bucks in total. I've sold a bunch of them. You've seen I've sold some for like 35 or 50 shipped. I've sold for like sets and then I've sold individual books anywhere from like 10 to 20 30 bucks and my wife sold probably three or four hundred maybe more by now on Amazon so we made a bunch of money on the books it was a great investment this is one of the last lots to sell this one sold for 50 shipped and it's just a big lot of books I just looked them up ones that weren't worth a whole lot on Amazon or eBay I just lotted together and I got 50 shipped on those um, here is a Donald Mouska toys um, Donald Duck plush he was like $3.99 or $4.99 at Goodwill. A little piece of paper there. I thought it was a mark. I was about to be frustrated. But no, he's still good. Uh, he was $4.99 or $3.99, something like that, at the Goodwill near me. I was surprised because usually they overpriced toys. And I bought him, and he sold for $50, shipped on a best offer. So I'm happy with that. I've been selling more plush lately. I don't know why. I just keep finding it, taking some chances, and some of it's really paying off. A couple of smalls, um, a little Sony remote here, this RMU221, this was just a throw in, I think I bought a bunch of electronics and I just grabbed all the remotes, that one sold for like 20 shipped, this little RCA one sold for 10 shipped, I just saw, it wasn't valuable but every time it listed it kept selling, so for 10 shipped I was happy with that, here's a little clicker remote, I think this is the one, I think it's all mad at part time pickers picked this brand, a brand new one up or one similar, um, I sold mine for 23 shipped used. Not he doesn't even have the clip in the back. Um, I just had to put a new battery in there, so that was fine. Fossil Fighters for DS. This was also from one of the storage unit buys. That just sold for 10 bucks, so that was cool. Cruising USA. I've had this one for a minute. I think it sold for 11 or 12 shipped for the 64. It always sells well. 64 for me is a pretty good system. Here's an HP Ink. Um, I think this was a throw-in at an estate sale. If not, I paid a buck for it. I forgot what she said, but. Um, that sold for like, I don't know, 10 to 12 ships, something like that. You'll see on the screen. This is from the $1,600 video game and toy buy. It's a um, Halo Reach um, figure, just a loose figure. Um, it's actually a lady, I think. She, I think she sold for 25 ships, so that was an awesome deal. Here's a CD. This sold for $14.99. I don't remember what CD buy it's from, but $14.99 shipped. I'm happy with that for... A UCD. These were a throw-in with a storage unit from a recent buy. I paid 460 and I bought a bunch of stuff. I don't think anything here is part of that lot. 
Um, but these sold for 15 shipped. They were just a throw in. Um, it's missing one. It's supposed to be a seven pack. It's only six. Um, I think a seven pack goes for like 18 or 20 bucks. I got 15. I'm just going to throw them in a pad of flat rate and we might make five or six bucks. It's just one of those easy sales. Moving on. These are just ask books. I forgot how many are I have, but on the screen you should see. Look out for these ones. They're not in perfect shape, but I put that in the listing. But they like ask questions about different things and kind of give a little story and information on it for kids. I think like usually a lot of homeschool um, people might buy these to kind of give them to their kids to read. This whole set sold for 69 shipped, which was awesome. So I think I paid, I think these ones were from Savers and I paid like 70 cents for each one or something like that. I paid up for them and then I think I still got 20% off on that and then whatever that was. But 69 shipped, took a while to sell, but look out for those if you can find them. Here's another buy from the 16, or another toy from the $1,600 buy, the Star Wars Clone Trooper Denal, or Denal, CW20, see him there, he sold for 50 ships, so that was awesome, and we're moving on to this Apple TV, it was two bucks from one of my sources when I bought his garage sale, and I don't know why he only charged me two bucks, but he did, I sold it as is for like 35 shipped or something like that, 32 shipped, um, I don't know, it powers up and seems to work, but I have no way of testing it beyond that, so I just sold it as is. Here is a DeWalt charger. This one sold for 23 shipped. It was five bucks. I'll pay up for these because they usually sell right around 23. Usually bubble wrap them, then throw them in a bubble miller because they'll still go first class. You make a little bit of money. Um, this one's kind of a common one, but it always sells for me within like a couple of days. And I think it's, I think I got drop shipped on it too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, here is a kids youth maple leaf jersey. This sold for 40 bucks. I had it listed super high. I think I get an offer, but someone came through and bought it full price. So I don't know why, but it's a youth jersey even, and it's sold for 40 shipped. Here is a Scrub Star Scrub. Not the best brand. Not the not a horrible brand, but nothing like crazy unique. But it's just kind of a winter Christmassy one. Um, I just picked it up when I, I bought a Batman one, and then I bought this, and I paid 4 bucks or 3 bucks for both of them, something like that. And uh, I was like, oh, I'll pick this one up because it looks kind of cool. This one sold first before the Batman for like 13 shipped, so... Not a whole lot, but it goes first class. I just listed it because it's that kind of theme. And we're in that time of year where we would um, possibly be wearing that. I think it's a 3X or a 2XL as well. And then here's a DJ Hero 2. It is in the box. It's not brand new. It's used. Uh, but it does come with the dongle and the game and the turntable. This was from a recent buy from Storage Unit Guy as well. I think it was from the $380 buy, if I'm not mistaken. Probably got around to listing it. It does work. It sold for 40, uh, 40 ships. So not a ton, but it's not really a valuable set, but it's in the box and everything. So 40 bucks is cool. I'm going to have a couple more things to show you guys. I appreciate you watching. Pretty good day. Good mix of stuff. Not too much clothes. We'd like to get rid of more, but you can see this is why you have different stuff to sell, guys. Um, some lower dollar stuff, some higher dollar stuff. We have books. We have electronics, video games. Uh, we have brand new sealed stuff, kind of vintagey stuff over there, plush, toys, it pays to have a diverse um, eBay kind of sales group, whatever you're selling, because sometimes one category is not really, you know, making ends meet. And if you have other stuff, it kind of gives you a chance to sell other stuff. Also, it makes you able to buy at different, you know, sources better because you have a more of idea of what you're going to look for. You're not looking for one specific category, which can really limit you to some other deals. So I encourage you to broaden your horizon a little bit, try some new stuff, and I'll show you guys what else sold in the next clip. Hey everyone, we're back with the final sales from the weekend. Actually, ended up being technically four orders, a bunch of different items. Um, first off, these Nintendo Game Packs. You guys have seen me sell these. I think I'm down to my last. This was one of two complete sets, and then I have a partial set left. Uh, that's my son. Um, this sold for 50 shipped on a best offer. I have them listed at like 70, but I've basically told myself I'll sell them for 50 bucks at lowest, which is, they're 48 in here, so a little over a dollar a pack, but... Um, that's kind of the lowest I'll take. I got one left that's complete, and then I'll sell. After that, I'll list the one that's incomplete with however many packs is in there. So pretty good deal there. I bought 15, 14, 15 of these for 150 bucks, and each one is sold for at least 50, except for one I took a best offer of 48 because the box was demolished. Um, this is a Barney and Friends VHS. Look out for these um, Time Life ones. Some of these Time Life ones seem to do better. This one is Everyone is Special. Um, this I bought a bunch of VHS, Barney VHS, 25 cents each, and then this sold for 16 chip by itself. Here are some of those Pioneer um, 
six disc little changers here. Um, I, this is a set of 10, sold for 57 shipped. You guys have heard the story. Bought a bunch of these uh, for two. They were two bucks each in a box. I, off, I asked her what the deal was for all of them. They were about 70 something. She said 20 bucks for all of them. So I bought them all. I've sold five or six lots of 10 for 57 each. And then I have one more set of 10 left, I think, and then a lot of 16. I just lotted all the rest together. So pretty good deal there. This is really cool because this order actually comes from a viewer. So his name's Gary. Uh, hopefully it's okay to say that. But Gary, um, he got all these video games. He bought them last night. Record Ralph, I think it's 10 bucks somewhere around there. Nintendo Land for Wii U's, 8 bucks. Chuck E. Cheese, I think it's 8 or 9 bucks. Unfortunately, the case in the, or the artwork is not that great. But this isn't the most common game. It's kind of harder to find. And then we play for eight ships. So thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. I know you've been um, watching the videos for a while. You're always nice with the comments, which I appreciate. All, all the support, uh, feedback, and everything. I hope you enjoy these. Um, probably by the time you're watching this video, you've already had them for a little while because we're usually a couple weeks back. But if there were any issues, please let me know. Most of the discs are almost mint. I think Wrecker Ralph is the only one that really is has any serious kind of scratching and not even that serious but they all tested on my Wii and worked out I tested them before I pack I'm going to pack them up so I did that before the video and they're good to go so if you have any questions let me know and thank you Gary if any of you guys buy anything from me please let me know i am try to put it in the order details or send me a message so I can make sure to shout you guys out because we do appreciate the support hey everyone I guess I forgot this sale this is um angel chimes a Swedish touch to your Christmas You've seen the screen, but it's all these pieces. It's actually missing one of these little circular pieces. This was a throw-in in the recent storage unit buy that I paid $4.64. Um, this ended up selling for $18 shipped. It's going to go first class. Probably could have got like $25 bucks for it if it would have had that other piece. But like I said, it's missing one of those. It's nowhere to be found. I didn't really look. I looked over briefly when I was buying it. It looked like everything was there, but I guess you just missed that that was there. So still $18 shipped, going first class. You know, we'll make 10, 11 bucks on it once it's all said and done. Hey everyone, we're back with a little clip here. This is just a T84 Plus. Everyone probably knows about these by now. I bought this one um, kind of untested at a garage sale. I paid 15 bucks from one of the guys I buy from. He's uh, He actually buys a garage sale, so I'll see him out garage selling one weekend, and then the next weekend he usually is at his house kind of selling off what he bought and the stuff he's kind of amassed over the years. Um, he does find new stuff, though. That's the cool part. He's really cool. I like him a lot. We've kind of built the relationship up, and um, I've gotten some pretty good deals from him. However, his wife does it with him, and she is a stickler. She will net whatever price she says, she's firm. Um, I think one time she's come down like five bucks, and I was spending like 50 something, and she came down five. He'll usually take off five bucks, you know, five or ten bucks off every item, depending on what it is, as long as I'm, you know, buying a couple things. So she will not. So when he's there, I get a really great deal. But this one, either way, let's get to it. Fifteen bucks. I told him, I said, dude, give me it for ten, because uh, you don't even know if it works. I didn't have batteries. He didn't. I'm like, if it didn't, it's just a, you know, it's not going to be worth as much. And he said, well, no, they sell for like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, well, they don't sell that much used usually, so you're a little bit off, but. Um, I said, I'll tell you what, I'll do the 15, but I got to come back and I get at least my five bucks back if it doesn't work. If I bring it to you and it doesn't work, I want my five bucks. And he said, okay. So uh, hopefully it does work. I just put new batteries in. Again, I had none while it was there. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, it works. Ran clear. So that's usually what happens once the batteries are in there. Okay. Let's do some basic subtraction here. Okay, that works. And then let's go to the do, 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 do. and we're gonna graph a couple of things. Sorry, not we want to do. Uh, where do we want to do? I don't even remember. We'll just do five. So we just want to get a couple of graphing things. Just see, it's plotting up there. Everything seems okay. So again, 15 bucks should get 60 for this. If it didn't work though, I definitely would have come back when I saw him and asked for my five bucks back because I offered him 10 and he said it was cool. But um, I would have eventually tried to sell it for parts or at least look up some issues, you know, you can replay, you can fix possibly yourself or what have you, but usually someone will buy it for parts. So here we go. That's a good 60 probably ship somewhere. The price varies, but um i like to take chances if you guys don't know that sometimes i'm out there just uh i don't know willing to throw some money on the table and see what happens